welcome back guys number three we got cowbell brewing company's doc produce bobcat pretty sure that's how you say it produce it's a west coast red ale it's a beautiful can you know um, 7.5 it's got nice colors it's sleek it doesn't pop as much as the other one to me but uh, still good to go um, pairings for this bad boy barbecue spice dishes pub fare sharp cheeses I thought I'd go back to another ale just to see how it compares to the other one. Uh, just a little, little story on this one again. Doc Purdue's Bobcat. Doc Purdue was Purdue, whatever, we're just going to roll with that one. Doc Purdue was Bly's veterinarian in the late 1880s who had a penchant for collecting exotic animals and loved drink. When he once was caught off for being overserved at a local saloon, he marched home and returned with a bobcat on a leash, threatening to let it loose if he didn't get another drink. I'm pretty sure my buddy did this once, but instead of a bobcat, he got his wife to come with him. But let's give it a try. West Coast Red Ale. Yeah, this one's nice. This one has a lot more of a... The piney taste. I like my red ale too. But this one has like a strong, strong aftertaste. Which most red ales do. Uh, I'm going to say 7.5 for this one. Yeah, it's nice. I don't like it as much as the, the honey brown. But, I mean, beers have... Different beers have different tasting, and they're going to sit well or not sit as well with other people, right? But yeah, 7.5 is all around for this bad boy. Yeah. All right. Well, check this one out if you guys like the the red ales. It's a good one. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Number four on the cowbell train. We got, I'm guessing, is probably their, their best seller, just going off of Huron County, all this type of stuff, Ontario, and it's the Shindig. So this can's a little deceiving. Um, you really can't see it now, but it's got like these faint little pictures throughout. Uh, just you know, summer, good times, dancing, horseshoe. There's a uh, beer pong. You, know, you name it, some music on here, just all about good times. This one is, uh, it's their their country lager, it's a light beer, usually I'm not a light beer guy, um, you know, like Coors Light, Bud Light, all that type of stuff, I'd probably give a two for taste. So, we'll see what happens here. Um, Pairings for this for this one is barbecue, fried foods, uh, fresh baked pretzels. Now that's what's up. This one doesn't even have a, a story. It's just shindig is crafted with great friends and good times in mind. It's, it's exactly what this can just looks like to me. It just looks like buck and doe, you know, going out for field parties, stuff like that, hanging out with your buddies outside. Um... Brewed with 100% Canadian barley malt and German hops, the this, this season lager will have you calling for more. So let's give it a try. Oh, can? Yeah, can, can's, can's a seven. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's your, it's your light lager. I will say this though, it does have, it does have more taste. So like, yeah, those ones very low. It's especially Coors Light, I'd probably have to say Coors Light, and then Bud Light on top. This one you could you know pound back, you definitely could pound back a few of these. Great on summer summer days. Especially like today. Um, yeah. 5.5 for taste. Again, I'm not a lager, light lager guy, so that's pretty high for me. So, 
But if you like them, if you like light loggers and stuff like that, go check these ones out. I'd recommend it. Shindig. Take care.